Hey guys, what's good? This is LG Sandbar S65Qs. We're going to test the audio using epidemic sound. This sandbar is with wireless subwoofer. The audio power for this sandbar is 400 watts. This sandbar can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth. Optical cable, HDMI. This sandbar, you can select specific mode, AI mode, and various mode. This sandbar deserves your attention. What we want to do is just for you to hear the audio. Now, with the remote control, you can select the specific mode. You can select this to standard. This is the standard mode. This is the standard. This is cinematic mode. So this is cinematic mode. Back in there, back in the bag again. Cinematic mode. So this is clear mode, clear voice. This is sports. This is music. 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 This is game, game mode. DTS Visual X This is Buzz Blast Buzz Blast
for testing the audio. What I want to show you is how to hook this soundbar up to your TV. You can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, and HDMI. If you check my video, we connected this soundbar. You will see how we connected it using optical cable and HDMI. What I want to show you is how to connect it to your TV via Bluetooth. And to do this, what you need to do is once you plug the soundbar and wireless subwoofer on, then the next thing to do is switch it on. Okay, and select Bluetooth and it's showing us now BT ready. Okay, now the next thing to do, you need to switch the TV on. And this is the TV audio. TV audio. Now go to your TV settings, select the settings. So go to the TV settings. Okay, once you select the city TV setting, then scroll down to the sound. And you can see the sound is showing us TV speaker. Select on it. Now use the side arrow to go to Bluetooth device. Scroll down to select select device list. Okay, so now I'm going to start stitching the top and bottom panel together. Okay, and now it's searching for available Bluetooth device. Okay, and here we go. You can see LG S65Q. Select on it. And it's connecting. It's connected. This is the audio. So this is the audio. With, you can see LG showing us LG TV. Okay, so this is exactly how this works. It, it can increase the volume. You can also change it. I like to create my own fabric when I'm upcycling projects. Yeah, this is, so I think that's the plan for this. So this is the audio. I move this around because I don't want to leave it in one particular place. But this is exactly how this works. How to hook this up. Again. When you the Bluetooth. To shop the you love. Say hello. With this soundbar, you can also change specific mode. This is cinematic. This is cinematic mode. Very pain. Nice and this, is, is anything this is clear voice. Pets aren't just animals, they're part of our story. Our bedtime guardians. Our travel this is sports. And that's why we this is music so you can increase the volume animal friends is here so you can create more stories together plus every pet policy comes with an added purpose helping us donate millions to animal welfare charities worldwide animal friends because all good stories and when the soundbar is in bluetooth mode you can control it with tv remote and the remotes for the soundbar as well so you can, can control it with both of the remotes when it's in bluetooth connection okay so this is how to hook this up via bluetooth if you're happy with this do me a favor like share and subscribe it help the channel this is optical cable 
I got at home. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your TV via optical cable. But before we do that, this sandbar, the audio power is 400 watts. The total power with wireless subwoofer is 420. The audio power is 400 watts. This sandbar, you can change it to various modes. You have a clear voice using the remote control so you can change this is now is in bass blast you can change it to ai sound pro ai sound pro you can also change it by pressing this button here just the button underneath the volume for you to decrease the volume just underneath you select this is ai standard so this standard mode you can change it to cinema, cinematic mode. And this is pause. You can also change it to music. You can also change it to game. DTS visual. Bass Blast. So this is Bass Blast. Now, to connect this sandbar okay, to TV, to hook it up is what I want to show you. So to connect this sandbar to TV, I'm going to use LG TV to connect the sandbar via optical cable. And to do this, what you need to do is you need to use the optical cable, plug it into optical, okay, and it's in. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to first of all also unplug the sandbar, okay. Now, take this end, this is optical, okay, put it, go into the optical end. This is where it goes. I must say the space is not really enough space for you to go in, but this is where it goes. You just need to find a way to push this inside. Okay, so it's gone in, but I must say it's a bit of a, a struggle. There should be enough space for you to put the optical, but it's gone in. Okay, so now plug the power cable. Okay, in. So this is the power cable. Go push it inside. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to plug in the soundbar and the wireless subwoofer. Plug it back in. Okay, and plug the TV. Plug the TV on, okay, and the TV is on. And also, you need to make sure connect the TV antenna, okay. So now, so from this TV, so you need to switch the sandbar on, okay, and this is the sandbar. It's showing us hello. We need to change it to then use the input to change it to optical. Okay, optical slash HDMI act. So now go to the TV, go to the settings for the TV, scroll down to the audio, optical out device. So this is how to hook this up. Okay. I don't want to leave this in one particular place due to copyright issue, but this is the audio. You can also increase the volume. This is the audio. So with this, you can increase, increase the volume. What I want to do is to show you how to hook this up to TV via HDMI cable. This soundbar is with audio power 400 watts. I must say, to put this optical cable, we need enough, there's not enough space, so it should really be a bit of gap, okay? But I managed to put this, okay, with optical cable, so you need a bit of space. Now, what I want to show you is how to hook this up. First of all, I need to remove the optical cable then and hook this up to
to using HDMI. Okay, so this opt cable out. Okay, so with HDMI cable to hook it up, you need to go to HDMI out TV arc. Okay, so put the cable in. Okay, so it's in. You just need to try to squeeze it in. But I must say that really should be enough space for you to be able to do this. But the cable is gone in, so it's in. HDMI TV E arc. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is to the back of the TV. Okay, turn the TV around. So this end of the cable need to go to HDMI in to e arc Okay, so it's in So the cable is here just need to push it inside HDMI just you see HDMI in to e arc the back of the TV So just gonna turn this around So plug in the, the antenna Now plug in the sound bar okay so from here the next thing to do is we need to switch on the sound bar so switch the sound bar on then select you will see the button for the button for for you to mute the audio after that the next one is input Okay, the next one with the cable is input. So select on it to change it to specific. So once you switch the sound bar on, it will show you hello. Okay, then press this button. Okay, for you to change it to this is BT Bluetooth LG TV HDMI USB. So now it's currently in HDMI slash optical okay so now switch the tv on and you can see hdmi 2 available this, this, this is the audio and if you so this is the audio if you want to know the, the next thing to do is you need to you need to go to the settings I want to move this around. I don't want to leave it in one place due to copyright issues. So select the settings for the TV. Once you select the settings, then you need to scroll down to sound. So scroll down to sound. You can see HDMI ARC device. So this sound bar is connected via HDMI and they show you us here ARC. Okay. So this is how to hook this up via HDMI ARC. If you're happy with this, Please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. So I move this around. You can also increase the volume. Clues as to who would inherit the school land. You can increase the volume as well. You can also select specific mode you want. You can select voice mode. And this is Bass Blast AI Sound. This is AI sound. This is standard cinematic. So this is how to hook this up. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you.